try a thing outside again back again in the bush well not the bush this time I'm at my friend's house as you can see a friend of mine that love weed like I do you can see weed everywhere so came here and I thought it would be a good spot as you can see I thought it would be a very good spot to set a swarm trap and I'm happy to say that it worked and I want to say respect to everyone that supports my channel and that views my channel thank you for all that and this morning I have something to show you most pleasing look at this they came here maybe about 10 or 15 minutes ago as you can see they are calm and gentle I'm not in my bee suit and this is another swarm trap with the entrance under the bottom of the bucket and there's a swarm taken to it so this is another catch for triating this is another colony that's gonna go in triating's apri and um, I should notify you guys of what I'm going to do I have um, I have this experiment in my mind that I'm intending of trying very soon and uh, it has everything to do with honeybees so I thought to myself that I'm gonna make another apron that I'm gonna call it uh, the free will apron that's what I'm gonna call that apron the free will apron reason being why I'm gonna call it the free will apron because the bees that are going to be in that apron is not gonna be attended to that much I will look on them but I'm not gonna go and disturb their broodness like I would do to my other apries to make sure that there is any swarm cell these bees are this apri that I'm going to have lined up as an experiment apri that apri will compete with the apri that I'm having monitored and making sure so what I'm going to do as I said it's a free will apri that means the bees will have their way of building their comb or building their nest all I would provide the bees with is space that's what I intend to do with this apri give the bees space and see what they would do or see which apri will produce more honey if it's the apri that I'm managing or the free will apri that the bees get to do what they want to do and as you all can see another catch for try thing with the trap with the entrance under the bottom of the bucket so and it's a nice swarm as you can see I'm not sure um, I, 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 I don't know if the bees are going in because I cannot well I can see bees going up in the cluster but I cannot say for sure that they are going in the bucket I see a lot of bees under the trap clustered under the trap I'm not seeing any waggle dance anywhere in the cluster which means that they want to move into this trap otherwise they would not came here or come here so we're gonna see in the next couple of hours what's gonna happen here 
Now I gotta have another trap lined up. I have about six traps at home because I transferred a couple of bees from traps the other day. So I have a few traps at home that I'm planning on taking back to the bushes. But um, I did not do that as yet because as you can see, the forecast has changed. There's no sun today. I haven't seen the sun all day. It has been drizzling a little bit and it has been raining last night almost all last night it has been raining and these girls decided that they are going to swarm today and take to my swarm trap so that's what we're seeing now so please guys leave a comment in the comment area and tell me what you think about me making a free will apiary for the bees. An apiary that is not going to be disturbed. The bees will get to do what they want to do. Build how they want to build. So please share your ideas with me. If there's any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment area. I will reply. And those of you who have not subscribed to my channel as yet, please subscribe, share, and like to Try A Thing TV. You won't regret it. As you can see, there are videos going out every other day or every three days. More videos like this one. And these bees are calm, like I said. I'm not in my gears. I'm just here trying to see. If I could see the queen in the cluster, but if I can see that little hole that they leave, and here's the hole. I guarantee you the queen is somewhere up in there. Because they always leave a little space for air to pass through the cluster so that the queen can get fresh air. Otherwise, she would have to come out of the cluster every now and then and then go back into the cluster but this is a nice swarm and like i said thank you all for your time thank you all for your views and your support please don't be shy please comment in the comment area if you have anything to say you can hit the dislike button if you don't like my videos don't be afraid but please do not leave any disturbing comment or any disrespectful comments but otherwise you could comment away all you want this is try a thing bees and try a thing signing out thanks for watching i think i'm gonna check a few more traps so I'll keep you guys posted. Have a great day. It's Friday. And this is my payday. A nice swarm for my payday. On Friday.